everyone loves chicken nuggets because they are so delicious. But what if we can make themed chicken nuggets that look like our kids' favorite characters? So in today's episode of Food Basics Reinvented, I'm gonna show you how to make Mickey Mouse themed chicken nuggets that are healthy, very appealing to your kids, way cheaper than fast food restaurants, and absolutely delicious. Stay tuned. To make the most incredible themed chicken nuggets, you need to add something that makes the nuggets smell so fresh. For that, remove the leaves from a couple of fresh rosemary sprigs, soak the leaves in cooling oil for a day before making this recipe. And trust me when I say that this rosemary infused oil will make a huge difference in the taste of these chicken nuggets. You can always skip this step and just add a couple of drops of rosemary extract and it will work. But since these nuggets are gonna be munched by our little ones, we have to make them as healthy as possible. In the following day, use a sharp knife to remove the crust from four white bread slices. Save the crust to make delicious breadcrumbs, which I'm gonna show you in one of my upcoming videos. For now, cut the bread into one inch cubes to make it easy for the food processor to process. Save the cut bread in a bowl and put on the side. Then get three skinless and boneless chicken breasts with the tenderloin and roughly cut them into one inch cubes. If you want to be very accurate and consistent every time you make this recipe, use a total of 500 grams of chicken breast meat. Get your trusty food processor and start with the white bread. Process the bread using the pulse function until it becomes fluffy like snow. Then add the chicken cubes followed by 5 grams of salt and quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper for seasoning, 2 grams of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of paprika, 2 gram of onion powder and quarter cup or 3 tablespoons of rosemary infused corn oil. Close the lid and use the pulse function again to process all ingredients until you have a homogeneous pinkish chicken nuggets dough. At this stage, the chicken nuggets dough will be warm and sticky from the food processor, so if you try to work with it, it will be very messy. To avoid the mess, place the dough in a clean bowl, cover with a plastic wrap and leave it in the fridge for about an hour before you start working with it again. During this time, the dough will cool down and firm up and be ready for you to work with it. One of the reasons why I like this recipe is that it yields zero waste. Even the crust that I removed at the beginning can be used for making delicious breadcrumbs as I'm gonna show you in one of my upcoming videos on the channel. When the chicken nuggets dough is ready, crack an egg in a small bowl. Add one tablespoon of fresh milk and then season with some sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Use a whisk or simply use a fork and beat the egg milk seasoning all together and this will be the glue that we will use to stick the breadcrumbs to the chicken nuggets. Put the egg mixture in a deep dish and get the chicken nuggets dough out of the fridge. Squeeze half a lemon on the chicken nuggets dough and mix with your hand. This lemon juice will add a light citrusy flavor to the nuggets that will make them very appetizing. Place the dough on the work surface and knead two or three times with your hand to bring everything together. Grease your hand with some corn oil to prevent the chicken nuggets dough from sticking to your fingers. Then flatten the chicken nuggets dough to quarter inch or one centimeter thick if you're metric. If you feel at any stage that the chicken nuggets dough is a little sticky, don't be shy and re-grease your hand with more corn oil. Now get cookie cutters with the shape your kids love. Mine love Mickey Mouse. So I'm gonna use Mickey Mouse head, shorts, hand, a mini's bow tie, and the famous M character. You can also use Mickey Mouse, Peppa Pig, Sonic, or any shape your kids like. It will be a great surprise for them when you serve them new shapes every time you make chicken nuggets. Use the cookie cutters to cut the chicken nuggets dough to shape. Then remove the excess dough and use a fish spatula to lift the cut shapes and place them in the egg mixture. Use a spoon to cover the chicken nuggets with egg and left again and place in the breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs are so delicious even before cooking. You can always buy ready-made breadcrumbs at any grocery store. 
But if you want to learn how to make these gourmet breadcrumbs that are seasoned with dried herbs and parmesan cheese, watch my other chicken nuggets episode that I will link at the end of this video. Use a spoon to cover the chicken nuggets with breadcrumbs. Pat gently with your fingers to stick the breadcrumbs to the chicken nuggets. Then lift them from the breadcrumbs and place on a baking tray. Once all shapes are done and you don't have any chicken nuggets dough left, place the tray in a freezer. You can freeze up to two months and cook from frozen whenever you want to make fresh chicken nuggets. Today, I will place my chicken nuggets for one hour in the freezer just to firm up. After one hour, half fill a saucepan with sunflower oil. You can use any vegetable oil for frying, but I personally prefer the sunflower oil because it's great for frying and it doesn't have any distinctive taste like the other vegetable oils. Heat the oil to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and slowly put the chicken nuggets in the oil away from you. Seriously, there is no reason to throw the chicken nuggets, splash oil everywhere and run like some of us do. Just be brave and put the chicken nuggets slowly in the oil and nothing will happen. Fry the first side for a minute or two. When the bottom side becomes golden brown, flip slowly using the spatula and the fingers of your other hand and fry the other side for a couple of minutes. When all nuggets are fried, remove them from the oil and place them on the drying rack to drain any excess oil. Now that the chicken nuggets are fried, it's time for me to dig in. I like to keep things simple and because these nuggets have bread in them I don't really need to serve them with any kind of carbs just ketchup and mustard which in my opinion go very well with any fried chicken like a kid I would take a long time before deciding what shape to start with as if it really matters so I will start with the mini's bow tie so I can enjoy Mickey's head at the end and that's actually something I learned from my kid hmm Seriously guys, this is so delicious. These chicken nuggets are incredibly flavorful. The nugget I just had is crunchy from outside and so tender from inside. And the rosemary flavor really made this nugget taste so fresh and fragrant. If your kids love chicken nuggets like mine, please tell me in the comments below what shapes would they choose. I will try to make them and share some pictures with you on Food Basics Reinvented Facebook and Instagram pages. I hope you like this episode. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bon appetit.